Hello everyone, welcome back to another lecture. Uh, this is the third part of lesson one uh, about the slope of a line, but um, in reality it's actually about midpoint and distance, so it's a little bit different. Uh, still using some formulas and some points, um, but it is not necessarily exactly about slope of a line. I'm still technically in that section. Um, so, uh, the midpoint of a line is the average of the x-coordinate and the average of the y-coordinate. It is essentially like halfway um, on a line. So we've got a point here and a point here. The midpoint, this is gonna be very unscientific, would be like right there. It's the average between the two points. So uh, the formula is given midpoint is equal to, so we draw it in two sets of brackets with a comma in between because we're doing the x point and the y point separately. So x1 plus x2 divided by two and y2, sorry, y1 plus y2 divided by two for that point. So each of these, this is the x coordinate, this is the y coordinate, we do each of them separately and then we write it in brackets because the midpoint is a point. So. We're given uh, a graph to the right. Uh, we have point A to be the point one, four. It is one over and four up. And then we have point B to be negative three. It is three over and negative three down. So we can take the X points, average them, take the Y points and average them and find out what the midpoint is. So midpoint, I should say mid, is equal to the x values, now it doesn't matter what the order is because you're adding them up. So one plus a minus three divided by two, and then we have four plus a minus three divided by two. Um, that is negative two divided by two, which is one, negative one, sorry. And then we have four minus three, that's one divided by two, that's a half. So this is our answer for our midpoint. Okay, you take the x values, you average them, you take the y values, you average them, you write them in brackets with a comma between, and you're done finding the midpoint. Um, the distance has a formula and is derived from Pythagorean's theorem, which is something that is familiar to you. You are going to take the rise, square it, take the run, square it, and then square root all of the, the sum of those. Um, the reason that we do that is because if we have a line, okay, we can take the rise as A and the run as B. Because this is a right angle triangle, that makes this C. And we know that c is equal to uh, the root of a squared plus b squared. So this is the root of rise squared plus run squared, right? And the c is the length of this line. And that's what we want. We want the distance. We want the distance from this point to this point. So using Pythagorean's theorem, squaring rise and squaring run, adding them together and square rooting them, we can find the distance between any two points. So D is equal to the root of the rise squared plus run squared. So um, that is the root of rise is y2 minus y1 and run is x2 minus x1. So let's write out my points. Um, I have points A is equal to 4, 1, and B is equal to negative 3, negative 3 again. Just confirming that. Caught me off guard for a second. Okay, negative 3, negative 3. So now I can plug these into this formula. Um, distance is equal to the root of y2, so that's negative 3, minus y1, um, which is 1, plus negative 3 for x2, subtract 4, and then, sorry, no bracket there, and then that whole thing is squared. So 
So now we have distance is equal to the root of negative 3 minus 1 is 4. Negative 4 squared. Negative 3 minus 4 is minus 7 squared. So I'm going to have the root of 16 plus 49, which is the root of 65. Now, if you're going to punch that into your calculator, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, we have um, 65 root. See how you get a number that goes off the calculator. There's no discernible pattern there. So if we were to write equals... 8.1 is what it would be if we were rounding to one decimal place. That is not as accurate as the root of 65, right? This is a rational number. And then the number that it gives us, 0.8.062257748, that's irrational, right? And we don't like that. We want the rational number. So if you're given a root like that, and we don't need to do anything with it. Like we don't need to like actually plot eight units out on the graph. This would be the answer that I would want you to leave it as because it is, it is the most accurate number because it is rational. Compared to this 8.1 which we rounded, it's probably okay, but definitely not as accurate as the root of 65. Uh, if you want to break down the root of 65 into a mixed radical, um, you can do that. But that is the answer that I would be looking for, is the root of 65. Uh, let's go to the problem. Is it a try it on your own? It is. OK. So try this on your own. Um, it's finding the midpoint and the distance um, for both of those uh, coordinates. And then um, unpause it, and we'll see if you got it right. OK, so let's do this. Uh, we'll do the midpoint first. Two pirates are searching for a treasure that is located at the exact midpoint of their current locations. One pirate is positioned at 924 and the other is at negative 38. What are the coordinates of the treasure and how far apart are the pirates? Well, the coordinates of the treasure would be the midpoint. So the midpoint is equal to the x value average, so x1 plus x2 averaged, and then the y values averaged. Right? So we have the points 924 and negative 3, 8. Let's average the x values and the y values. x values, we have 9 minus 3, and we have 24 plus 8, which means that our midpoint is that 6 divided by 2. And 24 plus 8 is 32 divided by 2. So our midpoint is 316. Okay, That is the midpoint. That is where the treasure is located if you go to that coordinate on that plane. Um, the distance between the pirates now. Um, distance is equal to the root of rise squared plus run squared. So uh, that would be the root of 9 minus a minus 3 squared plus 24 minus 8 squared. I can then take that and then square it. So 9 plus 3 is 12, squared is 144. And 24 minus 8 is 16. And then 16 squared is 256. 256. Pretty sure of that. Um, so now what we can do is we can add them up and square root them. So that is the root of 400. And the root of 400 is a rational number. It is something that we actually know. 20 times 20 is 400. So this is not the final answer that we would want. We would want to go 20 for the distance. And that is our final answer. Um, there is, I believe, some try it on your own for you to do, finding the midpoint and the distance. If you guys have any problems or any questions, as usual, please let me know. Uh, and thank you very much for watching.